So you think Hawaii has problems with flying roaches? KITV4 photographer Nathan Sirota takes us to Austin, Texas, where the airborne critters are big enough to draw tourists. Take a cruise down Lady Bird Lake in downtown Austin and you'll likely pass under the Congress Avenue Bridge. In the daytime, the bridge is like any other roadway. But as the day begins to fade, its nocturnal inhabitants begin to awaken for the feast. Bats. Up to one and a half million Mexican free-tailed bats roost in the bridge's nooks and crannies from March to November every year. It's the largest colony, the largest urban colony of bats in the world. So this is something you, you can't see anywhere else. Uh, to see this many bats, you'd have to go out to a cave. The colony migrates from Mexico in the summer months to breed and fatten up. Each night, the bats emerge from their concrete cave, consuming over 10,000 pounds of insect cuisine before returning to the bridge using personalized calls to locate their kin amongst the thousands. And plenty of spectators are on hand to witness the nightly exodus. It's estimated that the bats alone draw over 100,000 tourists every year, bringing millions to the local economy. Still, with all the fanfare, many Austinites still haven't taken the time from their busy schedules to see another species take part in its own flying rat race. I've lived in Austin my entire life and I'd never come and seen the bats until I actually came out here and started working here. And uh, it's, it's such a spectacle and to see the way they, the way they fly, the way they react, it's, it's something that you just, you just can't really know until you actually see it happen. One tip though, if you're going to be watching bats, you want to be looking from above and not below.